Hello, this is Robert Mullikin, uh, continuing uh, creation of database 10G release 2 on a CentOS 4 using VMware. And in last session, we actually started creating the database and it was taking too long for the database to come up and process to be closed. Uh, it has finished and um, it's giving me an error message in here but I believe this is coming from VMware and it's nothing to do with the database to check to make sure the database is up and running let's just log into SQL Plus SysDBA um, do a select all from read all instance and it appears database is up and So we see rack one and rack two, the databases are there. Um, let's connect to the system. Uh, uh, looks pretty good. Let's connect through Enterprise Manager as well. Let's open a new tab. I believe this should take me there. We're looking at Oracle um, Assist as a SysDBA. Here we need to agree with the licensing terms. And hopefully um, we'll see the Oracle rack in full glory. Well, that's working. Let's have a look in here. Let's see what sort of things are suggesting. So, the database is up. We need to configure the TNS and connect with specifics. Here, there. So this is the enterprise manager come up. Let's look at the performance. Oh, actually, you could have. There is there is no errors, but there is some policy violation. So fresh, it hasn't got any data yet. Um, let's give it a few minutes to refresh itself. So there is some activity. Uh, let's go back to the home. Can't what are those policy violation?
Okay, so parameters are not quite right. Hence, we are getting some violations in here of global cache. So we need to tune up this database to prevent all these uh, errors to occur. It's possibly this is why the data was so slow on coming up, because there was something happening underneath. Um, what else can we have a look? We can look at the instances here. Not very much to say. I mean, this is just standard um, enterprise manager. And if you're using the, we got a little bit more activities in here. Possibly this is was the time that actually the database was being created. And activities going. We got some physical rights, other rates, physical rates. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Mind you, it should be should be good because nothing, no, no users, nothing on the system, so it should be just perfect right now. Um, let's go back. No, it's just a matter of taking a backup um, and then start using it. I think I'll stop here. Uh, actually, we could we could connect from from somewhere else as well. Here, um, in my um, We, um, I'm using Sigwin in here. Um, to let's connect to Rack One from a Windows machine. Um, so usually you're not going to be on the server, so you're going to be connecting from I don't know Potty or Sigwin or something. going on, we connect to database and everything hunky dory. There's not much I can do right now. Um, I need to prepare some scripts or something to be able to do uh, to run a backup. Um, but over the coming weeks I will do that. Uh, and meanwhile if you have any requests or anything please leave a message for me. Otherwise, I will once I've got um, Arman backup, I will um, come and continue and do an Arman backup on this. Um, otherwise, this would be the end of it. Okay then. Good luck with your installs, and nice to have you on board. Goodbye. This is Robert Manikin signing off. Installing Oracle 10G Rack on CentOS 4 using VMware. Bye.